everyone, it is Sephiria Lovery. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Dollar Tree haul video. I have lots of random item things here. I just kind of picked up some things that I felt like I wanted to uh, have for my house. Um, there's no rhyme or reason to it, but I do want to share what I picked up and what I found interesting. Stay tuned. Just as an overview, I do have some decor items. I have some kitchenware. I have some food items, um, homewares, and then I have some personal care items and stationary items. I picked up about five decor items and I'm very, very impressed with the quality and the look of the items for just a dollar. I picked up two of these faux wood panel glittery type fall signs. Now the camera is not doing it justice. It's very, very pretty in person. These are very, very well done, well made. They look high end. You really can't tell that they cost a dollar. Can't wait to decorate fall. Uh, one of them says thankful, grateful, and blessed. And the other one says pumpkin spice and everything nice. I felt like the pumpkin spice and everything nice would go really, really well in the kitchen, on a coffee bar, or just on top of your countertop, period. These are really, really gorgeous. They do come with a piece of twine if you wanted to hang them up as a sign or if you wanted to cut these off and just prop it up against your wall or something like that, you can do that as well. I also picked up a sequin pumpkin. This is really nice. I think it pairs well with the signs as well. Love the color on this. Um, I don't like things to be like too bright of an orange where they just look kind of cheesy, but this one is very, very well done. And um, it's just beautiful. Flipping this one over and you really can't see like any empty spots to where they missed any sequins. I mean, this is filled in pretty good. And you really can't even tell that it's like a foam kind of material. Very well made. And I see that it also pairs nicely with a Dollar Tree Melamine plate that I got last year. It looks really, really nice um, against the sign as well. So I may be able to do a tablescape with this sign. The next couple of items that I got in decor was this really nice rustic wood looking frame. I cannot believe this was a dollar, you all. I'm not sure if you can see the detail on this frame. It looks like real wood. I just love the way that looks. And I love how masculine it is. And I love the color as well. Very, very nice for a dollar. I found this cute scarf for a dollar. I got it because of these little fur balls. I just love these and I'm thinking about doing a woodland themed Christmas um, one year. So I like to buy things ahead of time even if I don't use it right away. But um, I plan on cutting the little balls off and using it as a uh, decoration on my tablescape. But these are really, really pretty. And you normally spend a lot of money for any type of fur balls like this. So to get it for a dollar was a steal for me. Next, I picked up about eight stationary items. I found some really good finds, some name brand type finds, and just some really nice surprises. The first thing I picked up was this Tonka calendar. I picked it up for my son. He's five years old. I picked it up to go in his bedroom, and I just love the colorful primary colors on this particular calendar. I like how masculine it is as well. Um, these are the different pictures that they have that you can showcase um, when you hang it on the wall. And I think th this is really, really nice. And it's going to help him to learn his days of the week and also keep up with the weekends and keep up with the days that he has to go to school. So I'm excited about teaching him how to learn how to read a calendar. And since I picked up a calendar for my son, it was only right for me to get one for myself. 
Now, we all know that planners are super, super expensive, but it was nice to find a planner that coordinates with my office and then also just is a really, really nice price point. Now, even though this calendar isn't made of the best materials, it's just basically a thin sheet of kind of plastic, but nevertheless, I think it's a really great deal for a dollar. There is a spot for you to fill in your personal information should you ever lose this and someone could just return it to you. It does have the yearly calendar here, so if you wanted to get a bird's eye view of the entire year, you can do that for the next two years. It even has convenient phone numbers in it for hotels and rental cars. It has um, international sizes. I mean, this is really, really nice. A conversion table. An executive planning guide so you can plan for months at a time and you can see everything all in one little space. This is really nice. And then for the calendar section, it has the lines already so you can write on it. Then it has a little notes column out to the right. Very, very well made. It has the holidays in there listed for you already. This is a really, really nice planner for a dollar. Amazing find. The next item that I picked up was a huge package of security envelopes. Now these are the smaller size, which I pur purposely got those. Um, sometimes when I'm making a bank deposit, um, sometimes, you know, they don't always have the envelopes available for you to use for your bank deposit. And then sometimes if you're at home and you want to go ahead and just put your deposit in an envelope and have it set and ready to go uh, and put in your car so that when you get to the bank, you can just drop it off. I like to have these on hand for that reason. Next, I picked up a super sparkly, glittery ruler. Now I like this ruler because it's clear and also it's very very flat. A lot of times when I'm doing craft work I really like for my ruler to be flat. Uh, so this is a lot better for me than the standard wooden ruler that they sell at the Dollar Tree. A really nice find. Now it is a little bit thin but it's, it's thicker than most plastic rulers that I've seen so this is really really nice. And if you wanted to hang it on the wall, it does have a little hole here for you to do that. I found this miniature chalkboard. This is really cute. Now, I'm one of those people that love to use post-it notes, but I find it's a little bit wasteful. So if I can take something like this chalkboard and just write little notes to myself, um, taking the notes back and forth between work and at home, this is a really good thing to have on hand to be able to Write your notes down and then you can erase it and start over again without being wasteful with sheets of paper or post-it notes. The next thing that I picked up was these fall uh, foam mounting tape strips. I love these things. I keep these around to do crafting projects. And let me just show an example of how strong these are and what you could use them for. So I made this little piece of art for my son. It's actually hanging on the door to his bedroom. So everybody knows that this is his room. But I just took a wooden letter D. Not sure if you can see that on the side there. But there is the mounting strip there. So I just have it stuck on the glass like that. And as you can see, it's pretty strong. It's not going anywhere. And I really like to have these around for crafts. Here's another thing that I did with those um, mounting strips there. Very versatile. Next, I just picked up this set of keychain tags. These are really nice to keep on hand. You can use them as labels if you wanted to on wicker or wooden baskets. Just a um, plethora of things that you can use these for. The last item that I got in stationery was this cute little can. It says your llama easing, which is really cute. And now you can put this in your purse and put gum in it or candy or cough drops or something like that. Or if you wanted to put it on your desk and put gym clips in it, you can do that too. But I thought this was really, really nice and cute. A way to conceal things um, in your purse or on your desk. 
Winding down towards the end of the video, I just have two items in kitchenwares, just a set of smaller knives. You get four in the pack. These are steak knives. And I like the size on these and I like that black color. So that's why I picked those up. And then I also picked up a nice little butter dish. It's a melamine butter dish. So um, they do have some clear plastic ones, but I think this one looks a lot better aesthetically. And then you can just um, pop this in the fridge and this is very nice to keep your butter in. The next items that I picked up, uh, personal care, I picked up this nice little shower cap. Now, they do have the clear shower caps, but as we all know, those tear up pretty easily. So this one is made of a little thicker material, and so it should last a, a lot longer than the regular plastic caps, and I like the pretty little print that it has on it. Here is a shot of the cap close up. I think this is pretty nice for a dollar. Now, if you didn't want to use it when you uh, do your shower, if you wanted to just use it for a quick little rain hat, if it rains and you don't have your umbrella with you, this would be a great thing to keep in your purse. Next, I picked up a container of Soft Tea Growth Oil. It says it's a thickening formula, and it's for revitalizing and repairing your hair. This is a one fluid ounce bottle, but I don't think it's bad at all for a dollar. The last items I had to share with you all were some food items, just two of them. I managed to find a bag of bagels for a dollar. You get four bagels for a dollar. Really great price. And not only that, these are not just regular bagels. These are the bagels with the everything seasoning on them. So this could be your breakfast for an entire week or your lunch for an entire week for a dollar. You can't beat that price. And then I also picked up these four packages of Juicy Juice. Um, this is the orange tangerine flavor. I picked these up for my son to just kind of throw in his book bag for school. Excellent price, excellent value for the price. Dollar Dollar Bills, y'all. Thank you so much for watching my Dollar Tree haul. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on my next Dollar Tree run.